Hey, what's going on guys? Kuro Sama here. Now, uh, a couple of things before we get into this beautiful analysis because uh, Crossbow is probably one of my favorite mobile suits. Um, I would say it's definitely in my top three. Uh, my first favorite is definitely going to be the Age 1 Normal. I cannot get enough of the Age 1 Normal. Uh, but probably the Age 2 would be, actually be my second. Uh, but the crossbow is amazing. I absolutely love it, and I'm so, so happy it's finally in the game. Before we get into that, I do want to make a couple of announcements. One, if you want to cop one of these nice little uh, Bill Gumpler shirts, you can go ahead and check out right in the description over at Teespring. Also, this upcoming Saturday night, Tokyo time at pretty much 9 p.m. It could be a little bit earlier, but I'm estimating around uh, 9 p.m. We're going to start the charity live stream. So with that, it's just going to be the uh, charity for the Bo uh, Boys and Girls Club of America. So you can donate, and whenever you donate, and you give me some kind of confirmation that you have donated, you're going to be entered into a lottery, and I'll be giving you, uh, well, I'll be you know, having you eligible for a giveaway of some nice little gum plus. So definitely want you to go ahead and just at least chill. If you don't want to donate, that's completely fine. Uh, but if you want to come hang out on the live stream, it's going to be Saturday night, Tokyo time, 9 p.m. all the way to 9 a.m. So, at minimum, it is going to be a 12-hour live stream. So, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Now, first off, I, I need to I need to praise my boy here, the Crossbone. So, I got into the Crossbone uh, probably around 2011. Uh, I, th I think I was just like right getting back into the Gunpla and just getting back into the overall Gundam, you know, like franchise as a whole. And I was like, oh, crossbow. And I saw it, you know, in the, the stores out here in Japan. I'm like, oh, it looks looks really cool, interesting. Uh, so I got the Master Grade, loved it, built it. And I'm like, oh, is there an anime? Turned out there's no anime. I'm like, all right, cool. Is there an OVA? Turns out there's no OVA. So I'm like, oh, man, there's, there's no media? Found that there's a couple of uh, mangas. There's actually a little line of it. So I've read a couple of volumes that wasn't uh, English that I could find online. <clears throat> to be honest, I really didn't care for the online, like, well, I didn't care for reading it. It's okay, but it really wasn't my favorite manga when it comes to uh, Gundam. But regardless, it's in the, you know, Universal Century, uh, but it's also a part of, like, F91. Like, it's really not too far uh, in the future of F91. So, to my knowledge, um, Seabook is the one who pilots uh, the Crossbone. He's a part of the whole Vanguard. Uh, absolutely love it. Beautiful design. Um, it to me, it's 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 a, it's a borderline perfect design when it comes to space pirates. Um, I really love it. It's amazing. Now we're gonna be taking a look at all the parts. Now you do get pretty much all these all the blue parts from the actual achievements. So if you really just don't want to spend the coins on the parts, which you, you're gonna to want to buy some of these parts, and I'm telling you right now. But if you really don't want to spend any money or any of the coins on the parts, uh, then you will be able to get at least one full set in the achievements, which I think is fantastic that they're doing because some people may not get enough coins and they want to spend that coins on other items instead of the actual parts uh, but at least they'll get you know one of each especially if they're pretty bad parts maybe they don't, they don't want to spend 10 coins just to have a complete set so anyways we're going to be taking a look at the head unit first okay so we're taking a look at the head um stats are pretty average you know usually the shy attack should be like super high when it comes to the head unit but it really isn't uh, but let's see what we got we got basically your, your normal vulcans not really anything too spectacular and it just lowers some defenses, so not really too bad. And next we're going to have is going to be the body. A lot of people are actually saying a lot of good things about the body. Uh, kind of interested to see exactly what this EX skill is. Uh, but looking at the stats, it's, it's okay. It's actually not too bad. It's pretty much on average with most of the other ones I've seen uh, previously. So we take a look at the EX skill, though. We got Beam Shot, uh, Piercing D, Power B, Magazine 7, and Cooldown is pretty much immediate. Um, but then 60 seconds after you use all your rounds. So launching rapid fire gunshots and you can move while firing. So it's, it's okay. Uh, pretty much it's see from your torso. Where's because the beam shots is on the chest. So it's not I guess they just count the whole thing of the torso because this would be like shoulders uh, or I guess like the collar. Um, but yeah, that's where the beams come from is those little two yellow things. Um, and it also acts as the beam savers. But, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Um, I don't think it's that fantastic. I don't know why people are, a lot of people are praising it online. Maybe I'm missing something, but it's okay. It's, it's some good rounds. Uh, I prefer to have finisher uh, EX skills or buff or debuff EX skills. Having something that's just like a couple of rounds, maybe it's good for PvE, but when it comes to the PvP, quote-unquote, um, I don't think it's going to be that great. 
Okay, so we'll take a look at the arms. Honestly, 1900 isn't really too bad when it comes to these, um, you know, welfare units. Um, so 1900 for the melee attack on the arms, not too shabby. It's okay. Um, everything else is really lackluster when it comes to, like, shot attack, uh, your resistances. Your defenses are okay, but the armor is going to be very insignificant. Um, but let's see. Parse trait, 12% chance of attacks penetrating super armor. That's actually pretty good. Um, so sometimes uh, mobile suits are going to have that extra armor uh, defenses, or uh, I think it busts through shields as well. So I think that's uh, a part of what it means is like you can bust through the actual shield and do piercing damage, which is really good. Uh, but I would say it's probably only good for the PvP, uh, I mean PvE. I don't really think it's going to do good for the PvP aspect, but it's not, actually, it's not too bad. I actually really think it's a, it's a fair trait. Okay, so take a look at the legs. Pretty average. Pretty average stats, not really anything that is spectacular. Uh, but we got Heat Dagger, so a physical melee, a minus D, 21 seconds, first time 3 seconds, so pretty much instant you're going to be uh, doing this, uh, this move. So unleash a barrage of attacks with daggers in your souls. Raise your melee attack by 14%. That's pretty good. So this is something that can like set you up for your finisher. So if you're like, you know what, like I want a buffing, um, you know, kind of, like I say, you want a buff um, skill, then you can, you can definitely do a buff skill. Uh, so if you want to use like the Sumo or the Age, um, it's pretty much it. Oh, Chalgi, Chalgi's too. So if you want to use like any one of those um, head units to buff your actual unit, you can go ahead and follow up with this. This is probably not going to kill the enemy, especially if you're in PvP. Uh, most enemies are going to be able to, uh, you know, kind of not block, but take one of these like smaller hits. This is not a significant EX skill in my opinion. Um, it looks like it's going to have great piercing and, you know, like powers obviously be, but it looks like it's going to be able to do some damage, but it's probably not going to kill on, on one strike. So doing this is going to raise your melee attack up by 14%. You can do it immediately. Then you can also use the head unit uh, of whatever one you use in sumo, you know, etc. Um, buff your attack even further, and then finally unleash a finisher. Um, so this is going to be really good when it comes to, you know, those really powerful EX skills, such as Bisect or uh, maybe even um, Trans Am Ring. And looking at the backpack, once again, pretty average stats all around. Parse traits, uh, veneer, uh, veneer uh, consumption reduced 15%. Ah. I don't care about that. You know, when you're doing your sidestepping and all that, I mean, yeah, it would be beneficial, but it's so situational. All right, the Beam Zenba. Now, this thing right here. Okay, first we're going to take a look at the stats. Really, really amazing stats for a welfare unit. 2,500? Hell yes. This is actually really damn good. It's probably, I would say probably the best melee welfare uh, part I've, I've seen thus far. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Um, with Technique Attribute Self, EX Skill Power boosted 20 five percent this is fantastic so if your uh, main finisher is like the backpack or it's the um the legs then this is really going to buff up that actual finisher so i know some people maybe prefer things like the mace i personally do love the mace it's like one of my favorite finishers uh the iron impact but if i'm going to use like trans am raid or if i'm going to use bisect this thing is going to buff it up so much and yeah this is probably what i'm going to have to go with uh, currently, what I'm using is an end fighter that has the uh, Bar Barbados fourth form sword, which uh, increases crit rates, which is fine. But crit rates is hit or miss; like it can or cannot happen. So if I do this, this is a guaranteed power boost. It's like I'm getting I'm gonna be getting almost a set roll of damage. So this is probably something I'm going to look at more. But it is a technique, so you have to have a technique attribute mobile suit. Probably shouldn't be too hard. We have a lot of good technique mobile suits in the game right now. And next, we're looking at the Zan Buster. So, shot attack isn't really that spectacular. I was just, it's not going to have any defenses, which is, is pretty bad. Um, take a look at the parts traits. Beam range weapon, reload speed, boosted 15%. Trash. This whole weapon is trash. If you can find something better, I would say just move on. And lastly, we do have the ABC Cloak. So, what this does in, you know, in the canon is uh, it, it's able to uh, reflect. I, don't think, I, don't, I think reflect is not the word. Um, it can nullify... I have to look at the wordage because nullify and reflect is two different things. Um, but I think it pretty much nullifies any beam um, attacks. So, you know, I mean, it, it's not bad for a cloak. I think the defenses are actually okay for the, the melee. Uh, but take a look at the parts traits with technique attribute, enemy shooting power reduced 25%. That's actually pretty good if this was, uh, 
I don't think this is really that amazing. I, I would definitely like to look at what other uh, technique shields I have or exist uh, before I make a confirmation on if this is like really, really good for this particular suit or not. Um, but I mean, it's going to protect you from any rain shot. So I think this is a really good uh, cloaking you know, device. And lastly, I just threw Seabook in there because, hey, Seabook, um, even though this is the pilot that is uh, for the F-91, you know, hey, it's still good to have it if you really want. I mean, with Technique Attribute Self, which, you know, you're, you're going to be a Technique, Enemy All Power reduced 18%. So this is really good in combination with that cloak. So you can get power, all power reduced, and then on top of that, you're getting that shooting power reduced. So I think this is good and it has the Pro Tag. Hey, you're definitely getting that attack uh, 10%. Its shot attack is really good, so I would say the only thing is I probably wouldn't want this to be a shooter type. I would probably want this to be a melee type, just because of this ability right here, um, the heat daggers. I mean, that's a physical melee. I would kind of want this to be more of a outfighter, but I think uh, mid shooter is that okay. And this is, I mean, this is looking like a really, really good welfare unit. Probably as good. As, you know, ones of like the Blitz and the Rising Gundam. This is like a really, really good one. Um, so I would probably invest a lot into almost every single part on this suit. Um, namely, I would say, I know I'm doing this earlier, I usually do like the final thoughts part. Um, gold Beam Zamba. That is like a must. I'm going to go ahead and buy everything. I'm, I'm going to gold, I'm going to golden this one. Um, so that one, definitely the cloak. Um, I would say the legs is really good. Yeah, not really the arms. Um, yeah, I would say probably like the back. The I'll go backpack as well. Uh, no, that's veneer. Yeah, veneer. Okay, don't worry about backpack. So I would say cloak, go beam saber, the beam zampa, and legs. Everything else I think is in go arms. Arms is pretty good. It could be useful later. Uh, but everything else I would say is you, you're fine with just the one. Now I'm just going over word tags. So. Pro tag is going to be for everything, and pro tag is fantastic. So you have nine in total, so that means you have four pro tags that you can mess around with, which is just parts. So you want to keep that pro tag, which is going to make this mobile suit uh, melee oriented, giving it a 10% increase. And you're also going to have multiple close combats. You have a total of four close combats. So if you just change out some of the other, one of the other parts and get a close combat part, bam. Now you're going to have an extra, what, 5%, right? I want to double check my word. Yeah. An extra 5% on both armor and melee attack. So you can get an extra 15% melee attack on this mobile suit. So technique is is usually weird. Like technique can be anything, uh, I, I found. But this thing is is going to be a powerhouse. I really feel like if you get the, the stars aligned, this is going to be a top tier mobile suit. Alright, so we're going to jump right in and uh, just do a showcase of all this weaponry. So it looks really good, man. Oh shit, I think, I think we're doing this too fast. Oh, okay, I, I need to choose a harder one. Ooh, everything's crashing in this thing right now. So we got the head Vulcans, which isn't anything impressive. But we do have those cannons, and the cannons look like they're doing some pretty good damage, to be honest. Yeah, all, all my suits are weak, actually, so it's kind of weird that we're, like, killing these guys so fast. Alright, so that kind of sucked, but uh, we'll do another round. All right, so we're jumping right back in, and it's a little bit harder difficulty. Um, don't know how well we're gonna do. Yeah, we're probably not gonna do. Well, I know actually we're gonna be able to do some damage. And this is a, this is actually a harder difficulty, so we're still kind of doing more average. Uh, we didn't land it. Do I not have? Yeah, but I was saying I know I have my melee, so why isn't he attacking? Man, it looks so good. I'm so happy they got crossbow in this. Oh my god. Thank you, Bandai Namco, for like getting at least one of the mobile suits I love. Well you got you got age, so I can't fall child. Man, this looks so good. It's only level one suit too. There we go. Got them daggers. Oh my god, that move is actually really sick. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so before you roast me on my build, um, yes, it is a monstrosity. It does not look great. Um, it, it definitely doesn't even resemble anything of a crossbow. I mean, the cloak and the, the, you know, the beams out, uh, Zamber. Other than that, I mean, yeah, I got the legs. I do have the uh, main weapon, and I do have the cloak. 
So I got three parts from the crossbone that I did deem was actually really good, and I kept those. So we're going to take a look at this real quick, and just I'm going to show you exactly what I did for this custom build. So uh, looking at the stats, obviously the stats are kind of a mix because I have three gold parts, I got a couple of purple. Uh, so the stats are kind of like all over the place, but you can see I put a lot more emphasis. Um, in fighter. There we go. Put a lot more emphasis on melee attack, like I mentioned. Now I did not get, if you go over to the uh, word tag, I'm <clears throat> sorry, uh, the word tags, I did not get close combat. It was really difficult. I, I tried my best, but it was like, Things kept getting sacrificed, whether it be a trait or it was the actual attribute. And I was like, man, I need to, I need to hit a middle ground. So I did do my best, and um, this is kind of just the path I chose. Now, I, I know practicality. I don't think it, it will do the best out of every single you know mobile suit in the game. I would probably replace almost everything but the Beam Zamba, uh, and to include the legs and the cloak, um, just because they really don't add to the overall DPS. Uh, are they good parts? Sure. But I don't think they're they're contributing as much as, as another part could have. So take a look at the age uh, normal. I mean, we'll actually we'll take a look at the uh, everything else first. Um, we'll take a look at all everything before we get to the traits. So looking at the Gundam body with saber category equipped, melee power boost eighteen percent, and we got the uh, saber category equipped. So the Barbados uh, has the in fighter job, which is not bad. Um, boosted eighteen percent, so that's actually really good. Goes hand in hand with the uh, the Gundam. And then uh, go down to Beam Zamba with Technique Attribute EX Skill Power boosted by 8%. Obviously, it's going to be significantly higher if we max that out. Beam Rifle, the Hyakushiki, when attacking with Beam EX Skill Power boosted, oh, when attacking with Beam EX Skill Power boosted 20%. Uh, the Cloak is, you know, the shooting power is boosted 8%, but that doesn't really factor. And McQuiv, whatever his name is, uh, debuff EX Skill effect of 2%, but that doesn't, that doesn't work at all. So the bottom two, the cloak and the pilot, the pilot was just a good technique with an end fighter, so I chose him, and the cloak was just because I needed another technique. Um, it also played into the word tags because um, cloak had the uh, pro tag. I tried, to, I had the close combat, and I'm like, I can get, I can get uh, pro tag and close combat. Um, I could probably even get Gundam type, uh, all three word tags, but I'd be sacrificing the entire purpose of making this mobile suit custom. So if we go over here to EX skills, obviously we're going to have the combat stance. Um, sorry, let me click this. So combat stance alpha, raise your melee attack by 39%. So that's going to be a good initial uh, move. So bam, we're raising our, comp, uh, our, our melee attack power. Go to heat dagger. So we we utilize that um, that you know buff, or you can maybe wait on the head buff. Keep that aside, use the heat daggers first. So you go in there, you do a physical melee, which is already going to be boosted a little bit. Um, but it, overall, it's going to be, I think I think it said, uh, what, 14% if we max it out? I'll have to check it. But I think it's like 14% max. Uh, but we use the heat daggers, and bam, we're getting the attack boost just from this. Then we're going to get the extra boost from the head. And then over here, trans and raid. Obviously, it's not 100%, um, but, you know. If it wasn't max percent, then it would do a hell of a lot. Uh, but as of right now, it's really not bad. It's a level 1, 30% uh, uh, increase in your melee attack, A in power, D in piercing. This is going to be a B melee, so it's going to be benefiting from both the beam rifle from Hyakushiki and it's going to be uh, benefiting, benefiting from the beam Zamba. And then, of course, the Gundam and Gundam Barbados, both of them hand-in-hand -hand increasing. So... This is something I might actually like save and I'll take with me into the arenas uh, whenever they kind of like have one of the uh, requirements, you know, this mobile suit. Uh, because this is interesting. I, I think, I don't think it looks horrible. Uh, the body and the arms are kind of out of place, but everything else looks completely fine. I think it's actually a pretty damn good looking mobile suit. So this is something you can take with you. Um, look at the parts. If you really want to go this route, you definitely can. Um, but yeah, you can, so you can switch a lot of stuff around. You can switch that ABC cloak. Probably still have a good technique with Pro Tag, or you can switch the pilot out. But like I said, this kind of is working for the in fighter favor, but it kind of is what it is. Uh, but other than that, um, you know, like I said, due to Beam Zamba, the cloak, and the legs, those I would definitely prioritize when it comes to what do you want to get gold. I'm a, I'm a golden nose up and I'm maxing all the way up to level 10. Everything else, I'll just keep at one. But hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Uh, like always, if you can, like, comment, subscribe, and also make sure you come to that charity stream on um, the 21st, Tokyo time, 9 p.m. 
We're going to build the Master Grade Barbados. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a couple of guests that is going to be on talking with us, and it's just going to be amazing. So I cannot wait for that. But other than that, guys, I'll be seeing y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.